Bismillah, a very warm welcome to all of you. My name is Matawi Matapola and today our guest, the man of the moment, is MT. We have not seen him uh, for a month now since the Olukwani uh, debacle, uh, him uh, collapsing on stage. But today he's here to, to, to give us the, the lowdown and make everything clear. Tell us what went down. MT, welcome. Thank you for having me again. Where have you been hiding for the whole month? I've been traveling really. Um, I was in the room. Um, now I'm just at home. It's yeah, in a more enclosed environment. Oh, yeah. oh. I had to get away and go to you know, a, a small town at Blue where people are actually genuine and they really showed me a whole lot of love. And Take us back to that day in Bulogwani on yeah. just the moment before you went on stage. Yeah. What was happening? What happened for you to end up collapsing? What, just moments before you went on stage, what was going on? We had, we had just came from one other show, which was in Jogo. Um, so we had a long drive from Jogo to Bulogwani. So when I got there, I was just woken up. Okay, going in now. Uh, yeah, so I hadn't had a show in Bulugwan in a long time, so the people there were very excited to see me, you know, like I'm talking from backstage, like people were like, pulling me out, you know, showing a very uh, immense amount of love, you know, and which led all the way to when I was on stage. Um, I was I, I can't say I had anything negative to eat or drink or whatever. But I was in great, great confusion, you know, like here I am, um, now I'm in front of a crowd, um, they are happy to see me, some are dragging me, pulling me by my pants, you know. some are untying my shoelaces even. So like there were a whole lot of um, factors that would that, 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 that would have caused me to fall. I would not know what was the actual cause at this moment. Were you not drunk? I mean, no. people under the towel, he's drunk no. and whatnot. I don't even drink alcohol. Oh. No. Um, I can say it was fatigue and just a lot of confusion because from the from my transportation, I was just led to the stage. This way, I come that way, come that way. And I, I, don't, I had not even seen some of my people. Just besides my teeth. Uh, how long were you in, in, in rehab for? Well, I was in really in rehab or something like that. It, that would be something that would be harsh to see. You said to me, uh, while you were under the carpet, you were going mm -hmm. through the healing in a small town. Yeah. What were you healing from? Well, I can say it was the amount of judgment. Um, because firstly, I'm very open about a lot of things that I do, like smoking and stuff like that, um, which I no longer do now. So I feel like even though I wasn't smoking on the day, no matter what, people are gonna blame me on that. Uh, what do you smoke? Do you smoke cigarettes? What do you smoke? No, what did you smoke? I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke. Candles, <laughs> yeah, which, which I don't do anymore because the healing process helped me to let go. It's uh, also, you, you tweeted that you are sober as a judge, you are clean from mm -hmm. narcotic uh, codeine. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, about that. What is it that you were taking? What kind of codeine were you taking? Were you mixing uh, cough mixtures with? maybe cold drinks, what exactly were you on? Occasionally I would um, have some codeine, you know, but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't something that was too hard for me to handle. Uh, I think I could handle it, but for me to get away was just so that even, even if you were to test me today, you, know, you won't find anything. How much were you taking a day? Well, you know, as I said, I was, I was able to handle it. I was able to control it. 
the cup was just more associated with my brand and my whole image. You know? So whenever I had the cup in people's eyes, that was what I was drinking in the cup. You know? Even if people didn't see what was in the cup. It was it your way of escaping and escaping through it? I could say yes, because for someone like me, I come from straight poverty. Like I don't know, I wasn't born with the mic in my hand, I wasn't born with money. Uh, you know, so like everything was just so new to me, it was overwhelming. Like a lot of the things I just couldn't handle it because number one, I was, I was never really a trained. Uh, I was never trained what to say or in terms or how to say. So I just did whatever that came to my mind, you know, uh, and I was really, you know, I felt at some point I would, if I didn't get away, I would have lost myself. And uh, what happened there for you to, to be reconnected with MT? I was in uh, a man. Today, because he really helped me go through this. Um, I, had, I had counsel, I had uh, someone to speak to about you know, what I go through because that where I was doesn't really have to, it doesn't just work with um, addiction or drugs, it, it works with um, behavioral activities, it works with. Um, self-worth and accepting yourself as a person and, you know uh, also includes depression anxiety um, you know and being there I learned so much that, you know I learned about myself I learned about other people who, who told their stories about you know um, it wasn't like an enclosed where I was in prison and I was not allowed to do A, B, C, or My family came to see me whenever they could, so I, I, I really, it, it really helped me just um, appreciate my family more as well. And to focus. Yeah. What kind of support system do you have now so that you don't relapse or go back to Kodin or whenever you feel uh, the pressure, the anxiety, you go back to it. What kind of support do you have now? Right now, I'm blessed with, 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 with so much. Um, for example, my girlfriend has always been there. Before, after, when I was broke, when I had money, or didn't have money, she was always there. This is the first interview after coming out under the carpet, being sober as a judge and all that. What can we expect from MT? So much, man. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to venture into motivational speaking, I'm working on my, my third project, which is coming out on the 17th of September. And the campaign is going so well now. Um, currently, Friends are sending. I, I've, I've opened up like a submission where people can submit uh, um, art covers for the project. So I'm giving an opportunity to someone to actually be the person who will make the cover for me. Uh, it could be anybody. You know, so the submissions now that are open and covers are flying by the hour, by the minute, you know, and which is another indication. Right now we, we are in the process of choosing a cover and there's just so much more. Um, I'm working on my reality show, I'm working on uh, my documentary and I'm a journalist. So maybe in the next five years or so I might release a novel, I've only got my you know, yeah. so I wanna hear people as much as I've also been. Is it still going to be, are you still going through the journey of, of, of healing? Will you say you are healed, you are 100% of 
or is this I'm, only Jane? I'm good at that. I, I, I always go to him. Now it's time for me to just grasp everything that I've learned and put it either in my songs or in, 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 in what I do, in my art, in my craft. Yeah. Is it hard to be famous? In South Africa, yes. <laughs> Why in South Africa? Um, one thing that I've learned about um, in the public eye is that people suddenly have so much to say about you, even though they don't know you, where you come from, or how, like, where you, you know. So people have learned that people and it's okay so I can't stop anyone from tweeting what they want to tweet so slow down it's your phone it's your app <laughs> so yeah man it, it, it's, it's not easy and it's not for the faint heart oh. Yeah. Oh. okay that was MT he says he's sober as a judge thank you so much for, for coming through thank you for having me once again Spread more positivity, more love. Lord, I say thank you. Me, I've been praying. Get on my knees and my head to the sky. When this uh, is done, hella lost. Yeah. Shining a light in my You got to know. Yeah. Give me the love I need you Let me be who I wanna be 